what's up? Sam here. The Jamga U2 Ultra Short Through Projector is probably the best gadget I've ever reviewed in 2021. It's not because it's the most expensive one, of course, that's the reason too, but it's the most used one. You know, I've reviewed lots of electric bikes. No, I'm not gonna use them every day. I've tried numerous laser engravers. Absolutely not, I'm not a DIY guy, but this laser TV from Jim Go, I used it every day. Especially my family, my daughter just loves watching animations on it, like Peppa Pig or some uh, the dog animation. She just loves it. And you know, because this has a giant 100 inch screen, so she doesn't have to focus on the little tiny TV screen. I especially love it for its image quality. The brightness is out of this world. Sometimes I even feel the brain is too bright and I have to adjust it down. But there's a slight problem with it. No, not with the projector, but with my wall. You know, sometimes my wall has holes on it or some artwork, my daughter drew. So when Vivid Storm reached out to me to see if I was interested in their projection screen, I couldn't say no. Just a second, let me check their, their full name. It's the S Pro Electric Tension Floor Screen with ultra short through ambient light rejecting. That screen, according to Vivid Storm, just put it here. No complicated setup. Yeah, why not bring it in? In this video, let's take a close look. All right, start with the unboxing. I've got to say, this thing is definitely well packed. It has four inserts to wrap the box corners carefully. There are loads of foams inside the package, so I would assume no matter what happened during transportation, you will get a complete piece. These are what we got from the box. And compared to a traditional projection screen, which might include numerous small accessories that scare you away, this Pro looks clean and user-friendly. Moving to the screen, this thing is fully aluminum, metal, it's heavy, and the one good thing with this heavy design is it won't move around, it's not going to tip over, it feels solid. On the left side, you see the infrared receiver for the remote, a power port, a power button, and the button for screen manual raising or lowering. On the bottom, we also see a couple of black squares with rubber on them, so it doesn't scratch your floors or easily slide around. You can even fix to the ground or your ceiling if you like. To use the projection screen, just connect it to the power, and you will hear the beep. Then press the up key on the remote control to raise the screen. Hear the sound if you are interested to know. <laughs> it's smooth and quiet. And here the back, we see two spring lifts that support the screen firmly so you won't collapse. I've got to say, it's just fun to watch when it's rising. Even my daughter loved it. Now, about the video quality. Here I compared two scenarios side by side. One just projected to the white wall, the other to the vivid storm screen. As you can see when the lights are off, the two look almost the same good. Almost any high quality projector like a GMGO should look good regardless of the screen. But what separates the man and the boy is when you turn on the light. Here I raise the screen to an appropriate level so you can see the comparison directly. I don't even have to tell you which one is better. The image and the white wall part got so much washed out by ambient light. But the part on the Vivid Storm is way more colorful, brighter and much more joyful to watch. And this is especially good when you are using a less premium projector with less brightness. I tried the Jamg O1 with it. If you turn on the light, basically you cannot watch if to the white wall. But with this screen, it's just as good as the wish it too. That's the amazing part of this Pro screen. If you look closer, you can see the material has tons of little micro lines that cast the projector beam, reduce those mere capillaries, and they can feed out ambient light to provide an even surpass TV panel brightness regardless if the lights are on or off. This Pro Electric Tension Floor screen also serves the dual role of enhancing the picture's dynamic range so the image looks brighter, colors more vibrant, and black levels more defined as you can see from the video. To conclude, I absolutely love and recommend the Vivid Storm S Pro floor screen. For me, it's over two sore points for the projection screen, portability and usability. 
There's Pro lets you huddle away in a safe and a sound box. So you can move this guy from room to room without too much effort. You don't have to drill holes on your wall and measure this and that in order to get a proper installation. It's easy to use, no need to break it down and set up somewhere else. What you need to do is connect to power and press the button to raise it and that's all. During my weeks of using, there's only one thing that I have to pay attention to is since my naughty daughter loves to touch the screen or step the projector on the floor. So I suggest you either retract it once you finish your movie watching or put the projector on a table. Apart from that, I have nothing to complain about. This Pro is expensive, but for those movie lovers who want to enjoy the watching experience to the fullest or want the perfect solution for rooms that have little or no control of incidental light like lecture halls, sports bars or even training facilities, this is the best screen possible for your projection. And if you are interested in this product, please check out the link in the description. I'm Sammy, I will see you in the next one.